recording. We are recording. This is episode three. Yes. Episode Technically three. two. We're back. We can call it like 2A or 2B. Does that work? I'll take it. It sounds extra special. But the goal, you, the, the main thing here is that we're back. We're back. We're, we're cool. back. You're back. Nobody can stop us. No, I won't be stopped. I won't be stopped. Can't be stopped. I'm, won't be stopped. No, I'm wearing very um, large statement eyeglasses and, and I won't be stopped by the world. I actually love a good, like, I, I, I don't like small glasses. If I no, have on, I hate them. Like, small glasses to me are not cool. Like, the ones you're wearing right now are cool and you made a decision. Yeah. But if you're wearing, I made a decision. like, if you're wearing, like, small, narrow glasses that, like, look like, like, those, mm-hmm. like, reader glasses you get at, like, the Hudson News at the airport, I'm not interested. These glasses are gross. you have on. We need to, like, we said this before, but we need to, like, find a way to, like, post these pictures so that people can see exactly what we're yeah. talking about. Well, I will post it on my Instagram at the Stacy McGee, yes. which is a horrible name, but I have a long name, but I will post the glasses I am wearing for today's episode. Uh, it will be on there and you will be impressed. My biggest mistake that I made this week, so I was like, I feel like I've been like trying really hard to get my life together, like trying to be more yeah. organized, trying okay. to have the things that I need. So I was, um, I was like leaving on Monday to fly to uh, Washington, D.C. I like, had my bag packed. I just had a carry on. I had a new winter coat. Uh, I had this whole situation. I was wearing a fedora, not a fedora, like those like felt like, fedoras, I think like sound like things that like guys wear to weddings when they're trying to like be fancy. Not that. Like they're like floppy felt hat. Uh, wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm really piling on information right now. No, no, no. I Yeah, I do want to discuss at some point what you think men wear to be fancy at weddings. <laughs> I Fedora would not have been the thing, but okay. But like, you know when guys are like, oh, I think I just, no. I'm going to start wearing a hat. And this to me no. is like, the, like my dad did that before. He was probably listening to this podcast, dad. I'm sorry, but yeah, you bought a pod, or bought a, pod, bought a podcast. What am I talking about? You bought a fedora. Uh, I think that fedoras are a thing that men think that they need to start having in their life. And it, that's not well, what I had. Okay. Okay, continue. Not in the traditional okay. sense of a fedora. I felt that. Anyways, I thought that I had, like, my outfit together. I was packing Blue's food. I was dropping him off at the vets because that's where he stays when we're out of town. And uh, anyways, I had on my also gigantic glasses. But because my yeah. outfit was so, like, kind of together, but I had to pick either the hat or the glasses. And I was already committed to the hat. And I left my glasses in my car when I got to the airport. And it was the biggest mistake that I made all week because I feel like I couldn't see anything. My eyes have been bothering me and irritated. Uh, And basically the goal of this is I left my glasses and I'm becoming more and more dependent on them every day. So welcome to the podcast. We're both blind. (laughs) (laughs) We're blind. Send help. I need it. Oh, yeah. And And I become a person that... It seems that almost every room in our house has another pair of glasses in them. I'm like becoming one of those people who just has glasses all over the house. Well, that's amazing. That's what you want. That's what I, I want to be. Yes. I want a woman. I want to become a woman who has a new pair of glasses in every room, has a variety of snacks and wine just on the ready. Okay. That's what I want. I can agree with that. Definitely. Yeah, like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, here's a little Pinot Grigio before. Like, that's what I want. I I actually feel like that's a good situation to have. And sometimes I, yep. like, I like when I get home and I'm like, oh, cool, a bottle of wine that I didn't know that I had. Like, it's like a little, um, like an advent calendar surprise that's better than Ooh. chocolate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Actually, today, so I, I'm wearing pajamas right now. And I have been right. since about 1 o'clock. Just because I decided I wanted to wear pajamas. But I got home and then I drank a chalada, put on my pajamas, and now I'm here. But this was hours what, ago. What the hell is a chalada? Have you never had a chalada? Clearly not. I'm very curious. Chaladas <laughs> are one of my favorite things in the whole world. So Bud makes them. So it's like a tall can, like a tall boy can of, I do okay. the Bud Light ones, but then it okay. has Clamato juice in it. Oh, yes. I have had I have had. Do you that. like I didn't them? know they were called chaladas. They're delicious. It's like tomato juice in beer. Yeah. It's really good. I used to waitress uh, at the Black Bull in Toronto and people would always come up and like they would want like a side of tomato juice with their beer and I never understood it. I thought it was the weirdest thing. And I think even just straight tomato juice I wouldn't be as into, but anything with Clamato juice, I'm there. That stuff lights my fire. I love it. It's delicious. But if you get the extra lime ones, like that's it. And I feel like my whole day 
It was a bit of a nightmare. I got up and had to fly home from Washington, D.C. today. And it seemed like it took an extra eight hours of flying time than it did when I got there. And my chair wouldn't recline the whole time. Really? Yeah, what a horrible situation. Oh, my God. I just, like, ate Reese's peanut butter cups. Or, no, Reese's pieces, uh, M&M peanut butters. I mixed them together in a large bowl. I got drunk off my ass. <laughs> With nowhere to go last night and just watched um, the show Search Party. Have you heard of that show? No. What is that? Oh, it's wait, freaking I saw amazing. It. I was, I, when I was having my chilada, I was flipping through trying to find something to watch and I saw that as an option. It's good. It's amazing. And anyone listening, go, please. My God, you have to. You have to watch it. What is it about? It is about um, – Basically, like these hipster, shitty people in New York. One of the so girls. friends, for, y- no, yeah, kind <laughs> of, but they live in New York. Maybe's in it from Arrested Development. Okay. And her and her friends, um, their friend from college or like an acquaintance they kind of knew goes missing. And then they kind of decide to start like looking for her. But they're like the most anti hero, like just unlikable characters. So it's kind of like Scooby Doo if they were all dicks. Oh. I didn't, and it's when I read the caption of it, I didn't like gather that that's what it was about. I was only like half paying attention, but okay, I need yeah. a new show to watch, so maybe that's what I'll get that, into. It's adorable and funny and like all of the things. It's really good. Um, it's really good. Have you started? That's, have you started watching Christmas movies at all? No. What? No, I know. Listen, I okay, I, like. I'm so upset. We're not ready for the holidays. Uh, I know. I know. I keep saying, let's get a tree. But like, uh, Brendan works all day. And um, and then I'm like, when are we going to go buy a tree at two in the morning? But um, now it's like the 14th. And I'm like, it's too late. We're too late. <laughs> well, what if you got like a great wreath or like a great candle? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to do that. You know what? I'll do that. <laughs> or or, or I, uh, you could always just get some multicolored lights and throw them up and you're participating. You're like doing I, thing. I do have like twinkle lights in my living room just to add extra light because I don't have um, overhead lighting. Um, but that's just like sad. But um, <laughs> that's just out of like, you know, uh, the shitty apartment. It's functional but, twinkle lights. It's. Oh my God. Yeah. But it's like, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm so festive. I love Christmas, but nothing is festive in my home. I haven't even bought gifts. No, although I, come on. Stacey. Yeah. I know. I know. All, although all I do is buy my, my brothers and sisters liquor anyway. Oh, so easy. that's just what they get. Have you ever had rum chata? No. This is another thing. So this is brand new to me. I'd never had it until a couple weeks ago. John brought some home. My mom was in town. Uh, and that was the first time I had it. And I've heard him talk about it before, and it is the best thing I've ever had. It makes – like, do you like eggnog? What is it? Most people hate eggnog. I like eggnog. I don't like eggnog because I don't like dairy or, like, cream with my liquor. Okay, then you're going to hate it because that's all it is. <laughs> is it is it creamy rum? It's, it's cre- creamy rum. It's creamy rum, but it, like – God, how it, – because it's – yeah, like, it's it makes Bailey's look like an idiot. Like it makes Bailey's. Oh, it's look, better. It's way better than Bailey's. Um, and then you like, oh, okay. but put like some fresh nutmeg in it. Oh, holy baby. shit! It's the best. Oh my thing god! Ever, yeah. It's become my new favorite cocktail, and that's like one like Christmas tradition that I've tried to do uh, between John and I, trying to do like a new Christmas right. cocktail each year to like make Ooh. a new thing. And that's not made; it's poured out of a thing, but it's so good. I love oh, it. Oh my god! Yeah. See, I like I my thing with like with like a creamy liquor is like, and I don't like often puke from drinking, but I think instantly, well, that's the thing. This is my fear. When I start drinking, like someone was drinking a white Russian and they're like, you should try this. All I think about is what it's going to be like when I barf (laughs) it up. And I'm like, no. See, the reason why I like these drinks, because I feel like lately I've been reflecting upon, because yeah, I usually drink like wine. I'll have beer. I'll have like mixed drinks. But sometimes I want to have the drink that you just casually sip on. This you okay. have to just sip on. If you chug it, you're an idiot and you're probably going to just yeah. like die. But what about when it gets tepid? What if, what if when it gets warm? No, you, Well, you have to keep the ice. I like that you said tepid. <laughs> <laughs> I I want to mention I'm wearing I'm also wearing a high collared shirt so I'm feeling very smart. It took me a so, second yeah. to wait for like the follow up of that. I kind of looked at you like what what is tepid? <laughs> I like rancid. Uh, tepid tepid is What's when the other buzzword. 
<laughs> okay, well, I'll explain, I'll give you the definition of what I think tepid is, and that's like you know when you were a kid and you had to drink milk with your dinner and you, you just didn't oh, want to, and yeah. then it's like the very end of dinner, your mom's like, finish that milk, and it's just <laughs> tepid. <laughs> it's like the outside of it's like you you were like pour milk into a glass that just came out of the dishwasher, and it's oh. like <laughs> it's already warmed. It warms I all can't. the way through from the outside. It's like a reverse thermos of heat. It's disgusting. I can't. Oh, God. Warm, just like uh, warm milk or, yeah, I can't deal. Like I got Kahlua for Christmas oh, yes. once. What yeah, about, actually. Um, the ge- Sorry, go ahead. Well, no, I was just going to say it wasn't even a full bottle. It was like, you know, when you buy uh, liquor and you get a free tiny bottle. Yeah. yeah someone wrapped that up and gave it no. to me for Christmas. Yes, of course. What? And a, I was like, what's a small bottle? Yeah, tiny. Like yeah. like a one shot or like the little like the halfway size. Oh no no no! Tiny tiny. Merry Christmas. No. Yeah. If it, was yes. it somebody that hates you? No, I, I I don't know. I was just like, okay, thank you. What the? I um, I know. I mean, that's a very I took it. Thing. Yeah, because I've only had Bailey, so I, like I said, I've never really dipped my toe in like the creamy liquors. But what's the um tequila rose? Is that? Is that what that is? The like pink tequila one? Have you had that? No, it looks I like like okay. Bismol. You need to start expanding. I know, I know. That I that was just about to say that. I'm not like I do wine and beer. Um, it, it, the second I do liquor, I get messed. Really? <laughs> oh my god. J- okay, because like beer, I'm like okay, I can drink that all night, and I kind of know where I'm gonna go. Sure. Wine, I'm gonna be nice, and at one point, I'm gonna tell you to follow your dreams and just get a little too much not me if I have too much wine at one point I'll either start crying or I just have a moment where I lash out it's so bad really yeah oh yeah see and then with gin when I drink gin I'm like oh my god music exists (laughs) like I'm this weird like oh my god let's like everything's amazing and then vodka I'm like what happened I don't I don't think that I can totally decipher between different uh, like liquors, how they make me really? feel. No, but one thing that I have gotten kind of into just um, through experience of living my life is Jack Daniels. And I used to hate Jack yeah. Daniels. I hated it. I thought it was the worst evil, potent liquor ever. And now I like it, but it's almost like when I thought like I wanted to like olives and I had to have right. like a little bit at a time or I'd like have like an olive stuff with um, with garlic or like blue cheese or something to like really get in there. But yeah, with Jack, right. I would have like little bits of it, tiny little baby shots and like a lot of Diet Coke or whatever. And now I love it. It's great. Really? Yeah. I probably wouldn't that- order it at like a bar or anything, but like if I'm at home or if it's like a last ditch effort, I'll definitely do it. Really? Yeah. That's an interesting poll. It makes me Jack feel Daniels. cool. Yeah, it makes me feel really cool. Really? Yeah. Um, maybe I'll start ordering some Jacks. I think, <laughs> I feel like maybe it's not a Jack. I know Scotch is like the lowest calorie liquor, right? Is that right? It is? I think it is. Yeah, because I feel like, I feel like I remember reading in like a Cosmo magazine or something one time that like business women will drink Scotch because it's low in calories, but still does a job, but it's like pure gasoline. So wait, vodka has more calories than scotch. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm gonna Google it right now uh, on my phone. Yeah, I, that's my what thing I was... kind of understood. I feel like I've been told that. I've definitely never researched it. It was like a nugget of information I had, and it's just stayed in my brain as that's true. Really? Scotch. Oh my god! I... Versus vodka calories. Because I, I always thought like a brown liquor is just not good for you. It's. I love how this. I love how this podcast. You. I love how this podcast is us just being like, and this liquor, and this liquor. <laughs> it's no, I. Uh, it says they're kind of equal. It actually says gin, vodka, with no. There's no way it says they're all equal to like 100 calories. There's no way. They've there's no be way. That was a really erroneous website I just clicked on. Anyway, I'll have to do further investigation. Listen, you know that's what is it? A regular girl's hot fact or hot tip is just <laughs> you tip, know what? Hot tip. Drink all the booze. <laughs> yeah. Have a good time. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you're gonna do it, do it. <laughs> um. Yeah. So you need to get some holiday <laughs> stuff happening. Whoa, that was a really I good do. cough you just let out. Sorry, I've been really battling this <laughs> cough that makes it sound like I'm drowning. So I might edit that out, <laughs> no, but maybe I'll keep it in. I think leave it. We've had. We've already addressed it. I went to this like holiday party and um, it was an ugly sweater party at this like dive bar and I was talking to people and I was coughing and I couldn't stop coughing and it wasn't a like 
hit, it was like, <laughs> like it just sounded like I, the ocean was trying to escape my mouth <laughs> when I was talking to them. And um, someone just left mid conversation with me. <laughs> no. Oh, they'd had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I've I've been. I actually like. This is like such a funny podcast to me because it's about booze and barfing and stuff. But like, I haven't puked in like ten years. No, and what? Yeah, like a really, really long time. Like a really wow. long time. And I, I recently just had the, uh, the flu and barfed. And now I have this cold. And I haven't had a cold in like years and years and years. How's it? I feel like I'm sick. I, I puke a lot. I'm a big oh, puker. No. I never no. used to be. And now um, I actually took a helicopter ride yesterday. Was that yesterday? That was yesterday. Woo! I on a helicopter. Uh, and it was one of the coolest experiences. But um, yeah. we went on one of the U.S. Army bases in, That's in, in D.C. It was so cool. Uh, got to do a lot of amazing things. Like they had like, uh, they showed us like the attack dog doing his thing. We did like, um, some shooting Whoa. gun simulation things and like deciding who's the bad guy and whether you shoot or not. Um, but then we, the final thing we got to do was, um, this helicopter ride. But as we were like getting prepared for it, they handed everybody a package, had our name, which group we're in. But then right. in it, everyone got a bar, like a barf bag. And they're like, somebody pukes on this every single time. It was an hour long trip. Um, right. so I was like, it's going to be me. It's definitely, it's gonna be me. Um, and was it? No, thank God it wasn't. But so in like the last 15 minutes though, um, I've had this on planes before where like, I just get like, like my arms almost get like sweaty and I'm like, uh oh, it's happening. I was like, I'm like, do you look at the horizon or do you look down? Like I wasn't totally sure how to handle really? the situation, but I, I could tell that we were going to be landing soon. So I was able to kind of weather the storm, but yeah, I thought for sure I was going to be the one that puked and then nobody in our group did. So I guess that was a success that nobody at all puked. There's three helicopter um, groups, and yeah, nobody puked in them. But oh normally I'm a big puker. The, Very embarrassing. My, one of the biggest fears in my life is is to puke. I will fight it like forever. So like when I had the flu, I was like, all I need to do is barf and I'll feel better. And I just couldn't bring myself to barf. And like I just remember sitting in the bathroom and like Brendan came in and I was like, don't look at me. <laughs> But um, I, I just was like, I'm just emotionally ruined, ruined. It's like when I fall, I, I cry. I'm just like, my life is done. I, I can't fall. I will ball. I will ball. So I was like, I was ruined for a week. Just thinking about me puking. Well, this I was is ruined. Crazy. I, like I puke and yeah. I'm on to the next. Like I will puke and no. then be like, all right, what are we doing next? Like I'm a functional puker. I get it no, done I'm, and I move on. No, I'm like, Ugh, and I'm like, everything's done. My <laughs> life is over. And like putting the duvet over me, just like, don't. Yeah, I'm not, not cool about it. Like if I, I've had friends, like when we go out and drink and, and have a good time or whatever, and they barf in the bathroom, they're like, I'm good to go. I, even when they do that, I'm like, I want to take you home. I want to take care of you. <laughs> Let me know how you're feeling. What are you doing? Like, I wouldn't be able to rally. No, I agree yeah. with them. I think once it's done, though, my problem is sometimes when I start, I can't stop. And that's a different situation altogether. Oh yeah, God. it's bad. Sometimes I'm just like, there's nothing else to have. I don't know how to weather this. It's so bad. It really freaks me out. But um, yeah, normally really? normally I can just hit it and quit it and move on. But so I'm on the, I'm on the helicopter and I'm like, oh, I don't feel well. So I, I like, I, I really mess with myself mentally because I'm thinking about how I don't want to puke because A, there's cameras right. on us. I'm surrounded by like military professionals. I'm like, don't no. be that person. Don't puke. And I'm like, everything's fine. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. But I do this really weird thing anytime I think I'm going to puke and I start thinking about really gross things, which is usually hot dogs. Hot dogs yes. is my go-to puke situation. Yes, yeah, smart. And so I'm thinking, and then I start thinking about hot dogs, but here's the messed up part. I started thinking about it and I was like, actually, you know what? I want a hot dog. I'm no not way. even mad. I, the hot dog's not making me feel, I love hot dogs, but when I want to puke, if I think about a hot dog, it'll get me there. But yeah, and then, really? but then in this like other like moment of weirdness that I finally got to the building where we were working and in catering, they had hot dogs. It was really? fulfilled. My dreams were fulfilled. I made it through the helicopter ride. I didn't puke. And then I had a hot dog. Holy shit. Yeah, this is a riveting podcast. Riveting. <laughs> <laughs> we got hot tips. If you're a man and you're going to a wedding, wear a fedora. No, don't. If you want to... <laughs> When you want to puke, think about a hot dog. You might be hungry or you might puke. We don't know. 
But those are two guaranteed hot tips. Oh, and brown liquor, clear liquor, it's all the same. It's only 100 calories. Three hot tips. We're just here cranking out tips left, right, and center. We're like a tip factory. Oh, yeah. I got another hot tip. Don't wear high-waisted red hot pants to a party. Think that you're thin because guess what, honey? It's not going to work out, especially if the light is weird. It's. I hate when you see a picture back and you just regret – Everything that's happened, you regret that people have seen oh. you in this situation, and then you like, yeah, you have like that body dysmorphia moment of like, wait, do I actually yeah. look like this? Is this the lighting, or is this like my true self? And I don't know because I'm envisioning myself differently. It's very mind boggling. Oh, I have no concept of what I actually look like or sound <laughs> like, um, or even smell like. And honestly, it just really, um, it just ruins uh, almost every day for me. But it's fine. <laughs> I like I just I wish I was more self aware. Like you know, like oh, when you see women just like owning themselves, yep. and you're just like, oh my god! Like what it would be to just have that knowledge. I see. I feel like I am very self aware in the sense really? that like, like when I see people do like obnoxious things, like they're, and like people are just like okay to like take a selfie in front of people like in public. Like I have a real problem with that. I can't do it. Right. But then like. People do it and no one ever really cares what anybody else is doing ever or not any yes. longer than five minutes. People get over it. Um, oh, yeah. But I can't do that. Like when I see people like behave a certain way or like do these obnoxious things, I'm like I can't because I know better. I know better and I cannot get past that. And I wish that I didn't have that because I'd probably be a, a lot farther in life. Honestly, it's crazy that you said that because I think the same way. Like I think that I'm too – um, I have too much anxiety, and if I just relaxed and realized that nobody cares no. because they don't, then I would be like less, uh, you know, less inhibited yeah. than I am. I think I, I'd be like, hey, you know. I think I try to like. I think in my head I'm much cooler than I actually am, and I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Or if I do, it's behind uh -huh. closed doors, like a real psychopath. It's really, oh. it's messed up. Oh, have you ever done this where uh, like um, only like I don't know what made me think of this, but when you're like I'm a really good singer, oh, I think, God. and then you like record your voice, and then you're like, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it's so weird that you just said that. So I did that one night after having a little bit of wine, where I started, of course, like, full on putting on a concert at home in a <laughs> one on one situation. <laughs> yeah, and did you? And then you listen back, and you're like. Well, for me, I will say, like, I'm like, what the hell? And then I was embarrassed that, like, all day I was like, I'm amazing at singing. People wish they could breathe. hear me sing. I was, but, like, I was also picking, like, way above my pay grade songs to sing. Like, of course, like, of course. These singers of all singers, I'm like, you have to listen to me. <laughs> and then, oh, like, God. woke up the next day to just, like, these glaring looks of like, you're not who you think you are. <laughs> I was like, hey, remember when you thought you were full on better than Amy Winehouse last night? <laughs> Here's another regular girl's hot tip fact. Slow down. Slow, <laughs> Slow your roll. Stay in oh, yeah. your lane. Like, don't Listen, do if you that. think if you think I'm not <laughs> comparing myself to Adele in the shower. You're nuts. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, I remember I remember my older brother uh, having a shower and belting out Destiny's Child. <laughs> what? In a, what song? Oh, oh, ladies, leave your man at home. And we were like, what? <laughs> but he oh didn't know God. that part, so he was just like, ladies, leave your man at home. <laughs> like he, I was like, you think you're Beyonce in there? <laughs> So yeah. here's another funny uh, tidbit of information. Tomorrow I'm starting guitar lessons to just pursue my musical goals. I'm excited. <laughs> That's exciting. Well, I, so <laughs> I've always wanted to learn to play guitar and I bought a guitar at one point uh, and it hurt my fingers. So I quit. It's like you like get like an, a, a calloused hands. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, I wasn't prepared for it. But then I went and bought like, you know, a pretty decent guitar. And I was like, I guess I bet I like. Bought a nicer guitar as, like, incentive to go learn how to play guitar. Um, so right. So, yeah, I'm finally tomorrow going to meet a man, I think, at his house. So, yep. post this that early tomorrow, right. just in case. 
Oh, if we don't hear from Renee, she's been full yeah. murdered yep. while singing Amy Winehouse and learning a couple <laughs> chords. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to learn a couple chords. I'm going to like post like a video in like mood lighting and just like. <gasps> oh my God, you'll get so many hits. Time for me to break out of my shell. I mean, I had a ukulele for a while and I did learn a Sam really? Smith song. Yes, yes, yes. And I learned a Sam Smith song on the ukulele. And did I make Brendan listen to it and say, now tell me the truth, what you think, as if I'm like an artist. And he was like, it's really cool that you learned that. <laughs> and then just left. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for you on this journey. Yeah. I mean, like, well, I think it's, I, like, ho- I think it's cool to like learn new skills. Why not? Well, listen, when we take this podcast on tour, you're the opening act. Yes, I will open for a regular girl. That's like one time I went to Pearl Jam and Eddie Vedder opened for Pearl Jam. It was the sickest thing I've ever seen. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I was there. It was very dumb. Um, I haven't been to a concert in so long. Oh, my God. Like, I have not. I went and saw Dwight Yoakam last week. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I follow your Instagram and you're always like, oh, just fell ass backwards into this cool concert. And I'm like... <laughs> What the hell am I doing in my life? <laughs> like, like, go outside, Stacy. Maybe you'll see something. <laughs> so, well, to be fair, a lot. Well, you live in LA. A lot of great concerts come there, obviously. But yes. they're harder to get to because getting tickets to shows in LA is notoriously a pain in the ass because everyone's cool in LA and everyone's at all the cool shows. Um, right. Where in Vegas, you can come. Like, it's a lot easier. So, anyways, yeah, we saw Dwight Yoakam was coming through. Went out and saw him. Here's the best part. So he had this guy opening for him that was like, um, I guess he was kind of like Roy Orbison kind of, but like younger. He was like Roy Orbison from Nashville, but like 25. Really okay. great. Like super like hip dude. Uh, he came out and was like playing songs, like chatting to people, like dancing around, whatever. Then Dwight Yoakam comes out. No intro. Just starts playing songs. Does not stop once. To address the audience. She just played song after song after song after song. Walked out, came back for the encore, and then was done. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. He just didn't care. Oh my Not that he didn't God. care. He performed and nailed it. It wasn't like rude. He was just like, here's what you came to see. Bam. The end. Really? It was awesome. And see, I want to talk to his stylist because he was wearing, much like you are right now, the denim on denim, which is always one yes. of my favorite looks. But he had on yeah. like... He had like a white button down shirt and then like just like a classic jean jacket. And I want to know what kind of jeans he wears because I want them. And I wish my legs were as thin as his. They're probably Levi's. You would think, but they had like a really cool boot cut that must have been tailored because they just went like it was like a tiny little flare that just kicked out over his boot. And I found it very erotic. Really? Isn't he like a tiny little man? I, I mean, I was kind of far back, so it's hard to say. But what was the movie he was he, – what was the movie he was oh, in? Oh, God, I wouldn't even know. I'm so bad at that. It was references. like a comedy. Um, gosh, what was it? Anyways, but he I was like know. in it. And you, if you don't know who, like, if you don't know what Dwight Yoakam looks like, you would not even really notice it was him. But I'm sure he's really tiny. Like, his legs were skinny. And I had, like, kind of body envy of this, like, 60 year old man. What? Well, yeah, I mean, they got it going on. I mean, they can really take a lot of fashion risks. I yeah. mean,. I'm kind of like, I feel like I've been dressing a lot like um, Saturday Dad. That's what I've been calling it. <laughs> like, I did this, um, uh, yeah, I had this like red polo shirt I was wearing. And I tucked it into my jeans. And I was wearing these these stupid glasses. And I just looked like a dad being like, hey, I know I work a lot, you guys. So let's go to the park. <laughs> like, I looked. That's like, that's a cool vibe. That You want to lean into the Dwight Yoakam Saturday Dad vibe. That's like, that's where you want to live. I think it's a great pocket. It's a great pocket a, to be in, definitely. Oh, oh, I'm having the time of life. And I have two like Saturday Dad hats just on my little hat rack over there. What is a oh. Saturday Dad hat? Like, I, figure, well, I figure like a baseball hat, but no? Sure, but with a soft brim. Yes, of course. It would a have soft to brim. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I start, I've, I've been wearing these like... It's like an authentic fisherman's hat. Yep. Okay. And that's my, and the thing is, so I put it on and to me, it's a statement piece, but like, you know, when you're wearing something and you know, people don't actually like it because no one has ever addressed me wearing this hat. Oh, they think it's too much. They're pretending it's not (laughs) happening. Oh, they don't like it. No, No, they don't. I wore it like, and I like kind of made a joke the other day. I'm like, look, I'm like early 2000s Britney or like Kira Knightley in a movie. And everyone's just like, hmm, no one gave a shit. Um, so that okay. to me means that they don't like it, but that's okay because I made a decision like you did with your glasses and I'd rather make a decision <laughs> than not. 
Too bad. I'm, I am going to post a photo of my uh, glasses on my Instagram, and I'm just going to entitle it, My Decision. <laughs> <laughs> this is my decision. <laughs> I'll have to do the same with my hat. We'll get, like, our own little trend happening with the, the decision. My decision. Well, I just, like, I had this, like, um, not to brag, but I clean up pubes at a yoga studio for free classes. Yikes. And, um, yep, it's a pretty cool life. And I was cleaning <laughs> um, one of the yoga studios yesterday, and I just got a, just a little whiff of my, not sm- whiff, not a, not a smell, but a look at myself in the two mirrors. And I was like, when are you going to dress better? And, <laughs> like... Because I always thought like, oh, when I'm like older, I'll find style. But I'm like, I'm there. I'm in the older pocket. And I'm never going to be like Giselle. You know what no, I mean? No, I've come to that realization well, that I, it's just never going to happen for me. It's tough because I think about that all the time too because I like, I like fashion. I like thinking about it. But then I feel like mm. I mail it in 85% of the time. I have me all these too. labels and I'm just like, no, I'm just going to wear this one t-shirt and these jeans. Exactly. Like as if it's exactly. like in my head, I'm like, oh, it's like model off duty. I'm not a model. I'm like, I don't look like right. that. And I just look like a bit of a slob. Like I have a dress that I call the wedding dress that I wear to the wedding. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I need to like spice it up. You know what I mean? Like I, uh, but I don't know how, we're, or maybe just this is my vibe now. Maybe I'm just Saturday dad. That's your, that's your thing. It may be, I don't know. Because I go back and forth on this all the time too because I, so I'm around like a lot of women all the time that dress like women and I'm just always kind of like, I'm like skipper to their Barbie. I'm just like, hey guys, what's going on? Like I'm just like right. always like casual and like not dressed up nice. But then as soon as I dress up nice, I feel like I'm trying too hard and it takes me out of my pocket. I don't like it. Right. Uh, and I need, yeah, if I'm not comfortable, it takes away from uh, my, my essence. Do I have an essence? I don't know. It's all in my head. Right. Do you think it's because you're you're trying to be too cool? Yeah. Like we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Because if I'm in like a sassy dress and people are like, oh my God, that dress is amazing. Like my instinct is go is to say like, I just farted in it. Like that's my <laughs> instinct totally. to say yes. that, to be like, get out of here. Don't talk to me. You know, because like I instinctively remember going to a club when I was like 22, 23 and um, I dressed up like well, my friend's dresses. And she was like, let's go get free drinks from the bartender. And we were like, hey there, pal. And he was like, ew, like <laughs> this is, this costs money. You're not getting this for free. And it was like in that moment, I was like, I'm just going to wear overalls. Yeah. Uh, fuck. You know what I mean? Thank God overalls came back because now look where you are. I know. Although my boobs are too big for them. That's a whole nother podcast. They're too big. I don't know. They're too big for overalls. The overalls go in between the overall patch oh, okay. goes in well, between you just my need to boobs. Get different overalls then, because I've bigger I've had overalls ones that do that too, where your boobs kind of fall out to the side, and that's not the that's not how that game's supposed to be played. Oh, it is okay. So after this podcast, you'll have to send me some links. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, yeah, and anytime I like if people address they're like, oh, look at you, you look at what you're wearing, it makes yeah, it makes me instantly uncomfortable, makes me kind of panic a little bit. So I almost just don't want to be addressed. Or a, really? Maybe I don't know. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. It's not weird. I just like I don't know. I just have this image of like these like really just effortless like style icons. Who? So who are these people? For me, like well, Diane Keaton before she went yes. super kooky, okay. but I love a Diane Keaton. Get it? Yep. Um, uh, like who else? Like even like even like. Goldie Hawn now yeah. is just effortless. Like she's in a, a black dress, although sometimes it looks a little sloppy. But or she's just wearing like a faux fur with like her crazy hair, and she's like, whatever. Love, and it's the like, best. That's sort of like, yeah. I mean, uh, but I also like. I also think of myself getting older, turning into like a silver-haired woman covered in silk and a bejeweled turban. Yeah, sometimes I do feel like I can get into a little bit of an eccentric mode. That's what I want to do sometimes yeah. too. Like that. Did you see that documentary on that woman, Iris? Love her. Yeah, like I Love, want that's to such be an amazing her. Dog. I think she's great. I actually felt like I had kind of achieved a bit of a goal when I went home last year at Christmas, and I did have like a Joseph in the Technicolor dream coat, like fur, like faux fur jacket. Really? Um, that I thought was really cool. I felt like I was like Edie Sedgwick, but I showed up to my cousin. Ooh. My cousin's like, "Is this yours?" I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "Of course it is." And I was like, <laughs> "But I, I felt like accomplished in that." I was like, "Yeah, it is mine." I'm glad that you knew that that was mine. Too bad. 
I like well, I would I like I would rather thing. be like that. Yeah, I would rather dress like that. Like sometimes I look at the Kardashians and I'm like they and they're just like in these weird clothes, but they're like eating salads and I'm like, there's no way they're comfortable. Yeah. Like I'd rather I would rather just like I don't know. Do I make sense? Yeah. Like, do you ever watch that and go like, uh, like how are you eating a salad in this like see through bodysuit and everyone can see your nips? Well, I yeah, that's exactly how I feel because I'm too self conscious about not that I'm self conscious about self self-aware um that yeah yeah, i I, because i'm aware that it's distracting to other people it's like a weird yeah i don't like it i prefer to just be i want to be comfortable i don't want to be taken out of my element no no you don't want to be the fedora at the wedding i get it full (laughs) circle okay while we're on the topic of fashion what is your take on matching pajamas oh okay first of all (laughs) I'm glad you you came to the right the right place. Thank here. you. I love a matching pajama. I just started buying matching pajamas at Target. I have a full leopard set that is out of control. Amazing. I love it. Although I will tell you, after time, the buttons unbutton, and I wake up and like boobs again out. we talked about gross boobs, yeah. but it's boobs out, and it's un uh, not a cool look. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends because I mean the pajamas I'm wearing right now, it's like it's a it's a plaid button down shirt and then like some plaid yeah. boxers. Um, and there, it's great. I love it. But yeah, it'll probably be like short lived and then I'll have to yeah. move on to something else, but that's okay. But then I bought the, like, I like, like, I like having matching pajamas. Like, I mean like matching with other people. Oh, matching, matching with other people. Like at like Ooh. holidays of like having matching pajamas. Is that something that oh, you're th- on board with? I would be on, I am on board with it. I mean, if my family was functional and loved each other enough, I'm sure we would, I would dip my toe in a matching set. <laughs> Something about it, I like it. It's like, it's, it's a weird holiday thing for me that I feel like if I don't have that or have like a new pair of pajamas for the holidays, it, uh, it throws me uh, for a loop. I need them. So. My, mo- my mom always bought us new pajamas for Christmas. We always got new pajamas for Christmas Eve. Yeah, exactly. That's what we would do too. And that was like, the gift that you open on Christmas Eve. I have to like With readjust myself on the chair because I'm sitting on this metal chair and my thighs are definitely sticking oh. to it. Adjust away. Help adjust away. Help me. Help me. <laughs> also, I adjusted the temperature in my house before I started doing this and it's getting really hot in here. Really? Yeah. I don't understand how the heat works in my house. It's either freezing or super hot. I can't find the happy well- medium. Well, this is sort of an ideal situation. You'll sweat out all the carbs that you're concerned that you're eating. Yes. Actually, I need to I order love food that. after this. I'm pretty starving. <laughs> what are you going to eat? I don't know. What are you going to eat? I don't know. I like, oh. I, I order in pho a lot uh, or sushi. Ooh, I've, I've never had pho. L- listen, I know. I'm not living my life. And it's not like I don't want it. I just don't know where to go. I'm going to make you a list of some things that you, like, we're, yeah. I wouldn't put scotch on the list because I don't like scotch myself. But definitely rum chata, more chaladas, anything with a lot of, get into in it. In a lot of, yeah. I got to dip my toe. Chalada, yeah, I, rum chata. Um, and then, yeah, pho. Pho is my one of my favorite things to order, and it's the best. Apparently, it's low calorie, but that's probably BS, too. I'm oh, really? not going to Google that because Google has been leading me astray today. <laughs> I love how the only thing we felt was necessary to Google today was just liquor calories. <laughs> uh, Clearly, big drinkers what, what were on the regular last girls. Google searches? Oh, my God. Okay, so I kind of touched on this um, – on the last podcast uh, with Amanda Rook Perrin because I re- I opened up my Safari and um, I had just recently searched Freddie Prince Jr. cooking. <laughs> what? Why? Yeah. Well, I was sick and I had to go to this health food store to get oil of oregano because um, that helps your cold. Yeah. And this man wouldn't let me leave and he kept trying to give me a free magazine with Freddie Prince Jr. on the cover. And I was just like, what the hell's like – What's up with Freddie Prince Jr.? And it led me down a, a strong rabbit hole where he's a chef now. That's what he does. Who knew? Now? Really? Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. He's like a, he's like a uh, he likes to cook or something. Like how like the guy from like John and Kate plus eight works at like a Fridays or something. He's a DJ at a TGI Fridays. Thank you. Oh <laughs> snap! He I bet st- he's got his thing going on now. That's what he does. I didn't know that. That's, that's what like Freddie Prince was up to. Do you think you could still love your dad if he if you went home for the holidays and he was like, "Hey, hun, uh, I just just a quick tip. Uh, dad is now a DJ at TGI Fridays." Um, <laughs> I, DJ I would have dad. to tell my dad. <laughs> I'd be like, "John, this has been great. 
<laughs> but I never want to see you again. <laughs> like, what a great time. No I will accept any gift cards from the places that you're working at. However, yeah, we're done at this point. If how, I was a DJ, you... I, couldn't, I couldn't even imagine how that would go. It would probably be like a lot of like Def Leppard and um... – See, that's cool. Is it? That's cool. Oh my god, that's super cool. My dad would, my dad would be cool too, but it would be like soft alt rock. It'd be like Van Morrison, like oh, that's okay. You know, just like yeah. My, my dad if, used to go on Kim Mitchell's radio show in Toronto. As see, like your dad guest. is badass. Well, you did, <laughs> well, your dad like your dad is very, very cool. He's pretty cool. He has moments of being cool, but then he has times where he's just like, "Dad, sorry, Dad, I know you're listening to this." Well, but it's I well, mean, I think you're. Way. He's like in dad mode. Just yeah, a dad living that's... that dad life. Oh, man. Don't I know it. Um, Every okay. day of the week. Here's the la- one of the last things that I Googled aside from – Okay. Uh, the other stuff that's in here is all food stuff. It's not worth mentioning because I was looking up recipes because I okay. also would like to be a chef just for Christmas. But what I was looking up was how to clean a dog's mouth because Blue came – last week I was home – and uh, Blue came – I saw him outside and he was just like – he doesn't like linger outside. He goes out and he pees and he's like back inside. He's not – Right. He's, yeah, he doesn't like lingering out there. So he was like lingering and I was like, what's he doing? And I could tell that he wanted me to come out and see what he was doing. He was like oh, no. he was like trying to gauge my interest and he had oh, no. um, a super old dead mouse in what? his mouth. Yeah, it was like – a cardboard version of what this mouse used to be, but like still enough that he was interested in it. Um, and then oh my God. as I'm kind of freaking out, he gets all excited and he runs past me into the kitchen and then drops it on the kitchen floor. Ew. It was awful. So, and I had to like clean it up with like a dustpan, but the, pro- Ew. and like, I don't know if you're like this uh, at all. Which, well, you probably are. Like, I like keeping my face very close to Blue's face. I kiss him a lot. I put my, like, oh, yeah. I touch his face a lot. And then I was oh, like, yeah. how long has this been going on for? That he's had this, like, rabies riddled mouse that he's just been toying around in the backyard. And then I'm basically French kissing him when he comes inside. Ew. Yeah. So I started having, like, this, like, minor meltdown of, like, can you clean a dog's mouth? So I just, like, kind of ignored him for a good hour or two. Yeah, God. It was awful. And then I had to clean out his Ooh. wrinkles today with like this wipe. And uh, yeah, it's it was really unfortunate. Luckily, it didn't like smell, but he caught a giant rat in our backyard in the summertime. A rat? Uh, it must have been a rat. It was so big. And John called me and goes, hey, come check this out. And I looked down at it and it was like on like one of our like tiles outside. So we like left it as a display. And John picks it up and it's like fresh dead. So it was like limp and Ew. moving. And it had like a foot long tail that was just oh dangling. I couldn't handle it. I still think about it a lot. Oh my God. This podcast has taken a turn. We're talking barfs, rats, yeah. fedoras, <laughs> <laughs> We're see through body suits. Yeah. Oh my God. No, no. My, my dogs would have no idea what what to do with any sort of animal, but they do um, lick their butts yeah. and each other's butt. Well, and, like, Burger gets that, like, he gets that leak happening. Butt leak? Yeah. Yeah. Vic has a butt leak, too. I mean, like, butt leaks, fedoras. Uh, <laughs> this is just really taking a turn. But dogs are disgusting, and yeah. um, but I don't know how you clean their mouths. No, Did I, you figure it out? No, I Googled it, and it just said, this is how you brush their teeth. I'm like, no, that's not what I'm asking. I oh. need something more than that. So I I didn't see him for a couple days or for two days because I was on the road or like a day and a half. I came home and I feel like that was my reset button. We're back to normal. Oh, you're fine. fine. Yeah. I wiped his face down. I'm like, it's okay. We can all handle this. It's like sometimes like I'll leave the my room and come back and Burger seems to have just selected a pair of underwear. That's uh, like I'm like that was at the bottom, but it's not, it's like he has like like lar- he wants the large pair of underwear. Like he has a specific <laughs> pair and it's like there's other underwear to select. It's always the same pair. It's like he looks for it. Um it's, <laughs> so it's, weird. It's, it's a little too human for me. Um and it makes me really upset. I'm just I'm just like how did you find that? There's no proper way to react to your dog wanting anything to do with your underwear. It makes you feel so yes. weird. And if anyone denies that their dog does that, they are a liar and not a friend to me. And that Liars. is a friggin' regular girl hot tip <laughs> exclusive. That is a, gar- a regular girl guarantee. No liars. Yeah, no liars. Um, and if your dog is not interested in your underwear, you're the one doing something wrong. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> um, 
I just looked up what I had searched, and my last search was um, fish soap dish. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> what, what, why? What did you see one somewhere that you were dying to pick up that you just missed you know, out on the opportunity <laughs> and you wanted to Amazon Prime it to your house? <laughs> First of all, absolutely, that is exactly what happened. And I forgot that I had done it, um, and I did it today. Uh, but now I can vividly remember the fish soap dish that I, <laughs> I wanted. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a 70-year-old woman, and I love a Dove soap bar. It's changed my life. What? Everyone should just go back to Dove Come soap on, bars. Come like on, the commercials. Yes. Yeah. Do you Listen. wash your face with it? No, I use Trader Joe's tea tree oil. It'll change your face. What? It's the best. Why? Um, Wait, it's so funny that we're, we're going to apple cider vinegar or something. You have a whole yes. system. You're very I was, holistic yeah. over there. Break it down. I, I am a little holistic. It's funny. We're about to talk about this because, uh, some friends of mine are like, all you talk about is apple cider vinegar. And I'm like, it'll change your life. So <laughs> my, I have now reduced all of my, um, like soaps and stuff to just basic. And I'm getting just way better results. Really? Yeah. So I use Trader Joe's face wash. It's a tea tree oil. Yeah. It's like four dollars so you put that on your face then you mix then you take a little jar and you mix half apple cider vinegar the raw like Bragg's stuff with half water tone your face and then I use a Kiehl's essential oil uh mask it's the best does does the vinegar make you smell weird all day yeah no you smell weird for like 10 minutes oh okay that's not so bad it's enough for like your significant you know other to go like what the hell are you doing in there? And you're like, you know what? <laughs> go do something else and just go get my underwear out of the dog's mouth. <laughs> just let me vinegar. So you put that on your face yeah. and then you put some oils on your face and um, and then off you go. And your face will thank you. It'll clear it up completely. I So, so I use um, Dr. Paracone. Which I okay. love. I, I, so I use this face firming lotion, but it smells like rose petals. It's great. That's I so swear nice. I buy it. I love it. It's a great lotion. Um, but then I started to like expand on this Dr. Mm -hmm. Paracone line because I went in there one day. I'm like, what can I buy that's nice for my face? Because I'm aging and we need to take care of this. Um, right. And one of the women there was like, they, it's called like the blue plasma. Uh, but she's like, anyways, you can get this, but just be aware that for about 10 minutes, your face is going to smell like fish. And I'm like, it? What? But also a little intrigued. I'm like, why? What's, yeah. what's the deal with the fish? What's it going to do? Does it go right. away? So yeah, I bought one of them and it's so putrid and so awful. It doesn't really go away. Like you have to like put it on and then it sits and like, it, and even just for like the little bit that you do smell like fish, it's not worth it. Really? And it's expensive. It's super expensive and it makes you smell like fish. I'm not interested. So this is why, Renee, you got to come to the Saturday Dad's uh, <laughs> Facial Emporium and trust your dad when he tells you. Just slap on some apple cider vins, okay? And and put some Dove soap in your butt and it's all going to be okay. And on to the it's, next. Take the kids to soccer, to the, hit the grocery oh, yeah. store, shut it down. And if you're nice, I'll take you to Dairy Queen, okay? Oh Just don't tell your God. mom. Oh, my God. How good is Dairy yeah, Queen? So I used to work there at Me Dairy too. Queen. Me too. I did too. You did? Yeah. How long did you work there? Not long. It was my very first job. My first like my real job was Dairy Queen. Uh, mine too, but I stayed there for quite some time. And How long I did you work there? Five years. Stop. I won't lie. So I you won't know lie. how Five to years. bust out a dilly bar. I know how to bust out a dilly bar, buster bar, treats of pizza. I used to write on cakes. Whoa. I own that place. Yeah. Where? Where? Which? What town did you grow up in? I grew up in Alliston. Oh, right. What? What? Yeah. No one will know what that is. No one. I know what Alliston is, though. I did. I was um, at the one in Ajax, Ontario. Yeah, I worked there for, like, not long. Like, honestly, probably, like, a couple months. Um, because I hated that they insisted that you wear these stupid dicky pants. And they, like, sent me to, um, like, Mark's yep. Warehouse to get yep. these pants and, like, these different shoes. And I, just, I hated my outfit so much that I stopped going to work. And the, my manager was so mean. Oh, really? Yeah. I, li I like that you were like, I'm quitting over style. And I was like, you know what? Don't mind the visor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, yeah, I stayed there for such a long time. And um, 
like I can't even believe the things I ingested there, like what the creations I would make. But um, didn't mind the red polo, didn't mind the breezy the breezy pant. Um, <laughs> I couldn't have been more out of touch, just like sexually during that time. And I was in high school. <laughs> I was just like I looked exactly like the manager. Like me and her were like the same. <laughs> I like what but I feel like one of the things that's so undervalued at Dairy Queen <laughs> is um their ice cream cakes that you can get filled with any of the blizzard fillings. And I don't think people oh, yeah. are aware of this enough. Cuz it's You the, can't get yeah. It's so it's the good. best. My favorite cake is a Dairy Queen ice cream cake. You can't get them anywhere in Los Angeles, and I guess it's like first, you know, first world problems. But you, there, it's a huge one for me. Why can't you get them in LA? There's not. There's like a Dairy Queen. Like I'm telling you, it's tough. I actually feel like I'm surprised how often I see Dairy Queens out here. Really? Yeah. When I when I got um pro, uh, when Brendan um proposed, oh! um he uh he had he made sure to get an ice cream cake. They're my favorite, and it just said thanks on it. <laughs> So how did yeah. how did Brendan propose? Oh, I never told you this. No. Um, um, so Brendan proposed uh, in the in um, the most ridiculous way in that it was our anniversary. It was our four year anniversary, and he I, I wanted to go out and do something nice because we never do anything nice. And he was like, "Let's just stay in and make tacos." Classic. And I was like, "Classic this- dude response." Yeah, this sucks. And also, like, we, um, or I don't eat a lot of meat, uh, or, or I didn't then especially, so I made vegan tacos, which is also doubly lame. Yeah. So you're just eating lentils and whatever. So I was like, great. So all day I'm, like, cooking. I'm like, because the lentils take for freaking ever. And um, I was like, this sucks. This I was so pissed. And then we were eating, and he was being really weird. And, and I just said to him, like, you wanted to stay in. I had to freaking cook. I was like, what the hell? Why are you being quiet? At least, like, talk to me. Like, <laughs> yeah. what the hell's going on? And he was just like, oh, okay. And then he's like, uh, music. We had, I think we were listening to Hollow Notes or something. It was, like, playing. And he's like, you want to dance? And I was like, I don't even want to be around you. <laughs> <laughs> This stinks. <laughs> and um and so we and I was like fine whatever and we started dancing and then um and then all of a sudden he just got down on one knee and was like like this is like and I I instantly saw what was happening and started sweating from my <laughs> lip. I instantly sweat through my armpits. I sweat through my back. I I sweat through my ass. My l- lip was sweating. He uh the dog thought something was happening so sat beside Brendan and was looking up at me while Brendan's down on the, his knee and he goes, will you marry me? And I was like, what? And then I, I, I responded, uh, we don't do this. And he was like, are you okay? Because I was sweating so much, like unnaturally sweating. Romance and then, is stressful. Oh my God. And then I was like, y- you know, yes, I'll marry you. And then I, and then I started crying and I said, we're so old. And um, he was like, okay. And I was, I'm pretty sure I ruined the moment. Um, but I, I, I had to change my top. I sweat through it. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm not even lying to you. That's, yeah, that's how That's amazing. Yeah. That, I feel like that's like a good, legit story. I feel like people are like, because I think I would sweat a lot too. I'd get very nervous because it's like, it's uncomfortable yeah. when people are like having like real emotional moments with you. You're like, okay, can we like not have this eye contact right now? But yeah, oh. Damn. Um, Brendan yeah, just like went for it. Over some oh. lentil tacos. Yeah, barely went, barely went for it. Was very nervous. Very I bet. nervous. It wasn't cool, but yeah, it was very what who we are. But now you're there. You're we're there. there. You're there, and you've done it. You're married. You're hitched. Oh God, that's a whole nother thing. It is a whole. That's other That's a whole thing. nother enchilada. That's a whole nother podcast. Yeah. People think I'm so old now, or like responsible in any way. No, I mean people get married. It's okay. Why? Because yeah, you're but married. I think- well, I think people get married and then some people um, lie about how amazing their relationship is of course, and sure. they're just like, we're married, we're married. And uh, like to even bring, to bring it full circle when we're like trying to be too cool, I'm just like, yeah, well, I farted in my marriage, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I farted in that nice dress and in this marriage. Bam. Suck it. Bam. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just so funny to me. When they're like, it's perfect. It's amazing. You're like, okay. Um, it's fine. Yeah, I feel but, like um, it, like when people like live their life through Instagram to like showcase how great everything's going, like just relax and take off that filter. I know that you're just like yes. living this life that you want people to think you have. Ugh. Yeah, it's too much. It is too much. Um, yeah, but 
yeah, now I'm all uh, just an old married hag, and uh, you know. But now we've got I get the my... booming podcast. I know. We I think we've really come to a precipice. Is it a precipice? Pre- I went to use a big word. The denouement. Yeah, I Is think. That right? Yeah, I'll take it. It sounds good. Yeah. We've, what do, you, what do you think about episode uh, episode 2.A? I think it's great. I'm happy that we're here. I'm happy that we arrived. Um, I'm glad that people li- listened and liked it and they love you. And I, I think the key here is that people love you. And that's what I like. Hello. We, need a, we all need a little Stacey McGee up in, in their life. Hello, I just like pulled my hair out to be funny and it stuck, it, it stayed in that place. Like it's so dirty. <laughs> um, no, I'm glad that people are liking it and I'm glad that we did a, another little chat skis. Yeah. Thanks for listening, guys. We appreciate you uh, listening to our blabber about uh, gross things. Yeah, so if you're wearing a fedora, take it off. Um, it's that, yeah. Or take a picture you, and tag us in it. Oh my God. I would prefer tag. That actually. Yes, tag us if you wear a fedora. I need to see it. It is my fear that my child uh, will like want to start doing improv and wear a fedora while he does it. That's no. my fear. But oh if you have a God. child who does that, tag me in it. I want to see it. Um, I guess like <laughs> <laughs> until next week. Yeah, until next week. We'll see you guys next week. We'll uh, talk about more things. I can't wait to see it this week. I, I, I'm going to take guitar lessons. We'll talk about that in my whole experience. Oh, my God. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. I can't wait. Bye, guys. See you later.